Y'all, we're about to MacGyver this thing. Dad thinks he can make it work. So give me a, give me some duct tape and give me a three quarter nut and a zip tie. Welcome back to the channel guys. It is uh, Monday, May the 16th. My name's Daniel and you're watching Triple R Farms. And uh, on the way into work today, I, I'm pulled into Lounsboro. We got some, uh, pretty much some scattered showers over the weekend that were kind of hitting some farms and missing others. But uh, we kind of thought that Lounsboro uh, may have got a little bit of rain. And uh, so anyway, I'm out here checking and it looks like it did. So on my uh, climate view app, it says that Lounsbury got uh, a half inch and uh, there's obviously no water standing, but that's because it was so dry that uh, any water that we did get here soaked in pretty quick, but um, it definitely got a rain. We'll dig down a little bit and see, see how, deep the, uh, how deep the moisture is. And also we got something coming up already out here. So uh, check this out. There's your cotton. That's the two seed right there. That looks good and healthy. Anyway, just looking at it, it looks like it's got a perfect stand. Uh, like I was hoping because the seed had already basically broke the soil before we got a rain so um, we didn't have to worry about the ground getting real crusty on top and uh, cotton not being able to uh, poke through the ground anyway it looks like looks to me like we're gonna have a perfect stand so that is awesome because if you can at least just get that part done right uh, you have a good chance to make a good yield uh, the rest of the season but it's very important this is the most important part is to get every seed up and um, Looks like we did a good job. So, I'm pretty excited. It's, it's moisture all the way down there. Goodness. Yeah, I'd say we got a half inch. It's still moisture way down there. Okay. So that's awesome. That's really gonna help out this cotton. This cotton's really gonna jump. So um, anyway, we were very, very lucky to get that. Also, there's some more chances of rain pretty much every day. It's like 20% to 30% hit and miss showers. So uh, hopefully some of these other farms that uh, did not get a rain over the weekend, will get some hopefully in the next couple of days. But here's what we got on tap for today. Uh, the wedge came in for Phillips tractor. So I think dad's gonna be working on that and thanks to whoever uh, commented on our channel about checking the warranty i didn't even think about that it slipped my mind but we did we looked into the warranty on it and the warranty covered the wedge so uh, whoever said that in the comments thank you because you just saved us some money um so he's going to be working on that i've got just a little bit of spraying to do over in the valley with the roundup and then i'm ready to change my tires and put skinny tires on and um then we're going to be headed to gray rocks we're going to be laying by the corn down there and i think it got a rain down there so we'll check it out once we get there but we got another busy video so i hope y'all enjoy it and uh oh yeah also check out this got some new caps coming in uh new visors we got some shirts it's a new shirt right here made in the usa shirts uh this is a brand called bella canvas super soft i can't explain to you how soft this shirt is but uh really really soft i'm loving it so far and uh also with the website's getting really close to being done so um anyway things are happening guys and uh merchandise will be available pretty quick and i'll let y'all know as soon as that happens so uh let's get back in the truck let's get to the shop and uh let's get this video started
All right, we are done touching up uh, in the valley, spraying Roundup. So now I made it back to the shop. I'm gonna go over there and uh, see if I can help Dad and James. They're working on putting the new wedge on uh, the 310 tractor, the 8R. So uh, let's see if we can go help them get finished with that. And then we can pull my row gator in there and put the skinny tires on. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Three for three. Got it on. In the right spot. Socket right here. Well, you started running over everything. There it is. There it is. on the 310 you can go ahead and mark that off the list next thing on the list is uh we gotta swap my uh, rogator tires it's gonna be a pretty big project
All right, we've got two of them we've completed on this side, so y'all get the uh, picture of how it goes. So uh, we're, uh, we're gonna jump on the other side, knock those out, and then we'll be ready to pull the uh, rogator out of here. So we had, I think, 25 inch wide tires. What's my floaters? Floaters, I mean, my wide tires. Helps the machine float across the ground better. Anyway, we went from 25, I think these are 15. 15 inch wide tires and uh, we put these on whenever the crops come up because we run you know straight down the rows in between the two rows and uh, we put these on so we don't damage the crops um, so let's uh, knock the other side out and let's move along dad's over here he's uh, working on his planter he's ready to swap it over to back to soybeans and I think we're gonna keep Phillips tractor I think we're gonna leave it with the cotton set up just in case we have to go back and replant any cotton. He can jump in, you know, that tractor real quick and go replant versus uh, having to do all this, take the seed plates out and all that. But, but let's get the rogator out of here and then we'll probably jump on there and see if we can help him uh, get set up for beans. Whew, it is hot, early, 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 hot, really hot. Daniel, wait a minute. It don't go that way. Uh -uh. The, the, the writing goes to the outside. Okay. You, you gotta be able to read the writing. I just wanna be sure. Okay. All right. If anybody can find Wayne, he can come in. Well, at lunch, we decided that uh, I'm not gonna try to go to Gray Rocks today. Uh, it was gonna be pushing it anyway to get down there. And with Mark not being here today, we we're kind of gonna be stuck without um, drivers to get everything down there. So uh, we decided we're gonna, um, I'm gonna get dad running, planting beans, get him all set up and help him. And uh, James will get my water down there to uh, Gray Rocks, but um, then also I'm gonna get my chemical trailer loaded so I'll have it ready to go in the morning. And uh, also I'm gonna go ahead and take some uh, tissue samples on all the corn. It's time, I'd, I've done gray rocks and now it's time to do the rest of the corn. So figured I would go ahead and get that done today and uh, get that shipped off this afternoon. So that's the plan. So gray rocks will be in the morning, but uh, we're gonna keep working around here and uh, getting everything ready for tomorrow. So now we are moving on to the Pioneer Seed. Uh, we're going to be planting, uh, this is soybeans, Pioneer 53A67. Making sure they're all the same. The group 5 bean. Yeah, these did really good last year. Actually, all of our Pioneer beans, um, they got some really good beans. So, uh, anyway we went with them again so pretty much same varieties i think we may have added one more new variety they came out with but pretty much everything we planted last year pioneer is what we're going to do again and they did so good well here's our shop corn this is where we were testing out the planters everybody wanted me to keep up with it so um 
hasn't really grown much but it hasn't rained on it it just got a rain last night on it so um still doesn't have any fertilizer doesn't have any potash phosphorus uh basically no no micronutrients just uh what came on the seed and uh this has been the top top plant of the whole trial uh right here he he's still way ahead of uh most of the other ones like right here um this one's struggling a little bit i'm not expecting too much and we missing a couple right well there it is right there he uh he didn't make it and uh that one didn't make it and that one didn't make it so i don't know we're losing some pretty much left and right every every other every other day but you can still barely see a row right here the row right there but um i don't know i need to put something probably around this like some cones to uh see if we can get this one to make a cob but this one was doing okay uh right here but it looks like dad just ran over it uh pretty much flattened it so um there's his tracks so that up oh, got that one too so yeah just uh compaction and just field traffic is uh gonna be the big issue with these guys right here but there is the uh shop corn What are you putting them on? Three and three. That's the depth we're going with. That's what we're going to start off with. And what he means by three and three, I'll show you these little notches right here. Count three on each side, and that's what, uh, that's three and three. You got one, two, one. three and two. Gotta count three and three. What field is this? Curtis Porter number three. Three. I guess three is the number of the day. We're going three and three on the depth. We're in Curtis Quarter, field number three. Oh, what was that? Jeez. Don't worry about the weeds. 
this is kind of where the airplane laid off the side he didn't want the roundup lead off to drift on the side so that's why they left this strip right here i actually sprayed this friday so um anyway you can kind of see you can kind of see how the plants got a little droop to them the tops are kind of starting to bend over you can already see that roundup working well dad's got trouble because i got the let's see what uh see what's wrong probably something with the computers we're having trouble uh picking up a satellite we're picking up like nothing it's not even trying to pick up any satellites <laughs> so dad is wiggling wires on top of the on top of the uh, roof right here that i don't know the receiver you call it he's disconnecting that line and uh, reconnecting it but we've got nothing right now this little plug right here is just broke basically that nut that i'm screwing on is holding nothing He's got it wired up with haywire. That's why we're not getting the satellite signal because it's all got to come through here. And that connection has got to be perfect. And this is this is far from perfect. I don't know how he's been running. Y'all, we're about to MacGyver this thing. Dad thinks he can make it work. Now give me a Give me some duct tape and get me a three-quarter nut and a zip tie. And zip tie. This is going to be very interesting. Thing is working now. MacGyver. So guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We're gonna hopefully have a lot of videos coming out this week. We'll be at Gray Rock tomorrow, laying by some corn. Dad's gonna be knocking the back some acres of beans. And uh, we'll be doing everything else in between. So uh, see y'all on the next one. We are out of here.